Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ain Nabila. Today I'll share about Sayyidina Ikrima Ibn Abu Jahal. Once a staunch enemy of Islam, that the matter. Ikrima was the son of the infamous enemy of Islam, Abu Jahal. He fought against Muslims and stayed an enemy of Islam for a long time. He attended the Battle of Badar in which his father was killed. After his father's death, he returned to Mecca and became more aggressive against Islam. He took part in the Battle of Uhud and the Battle of Khandaq against Muslims. Later, when the Prophet led a campaign against Mecca, Ikrimah raised a whole army to attack them. However, as a result, Ikrimah lost four fighters and fled. Soon afterwards, the Prophet was standing at the door of the Holy Kaaba with hundreds of idols in and around Kaaba were destroyed. Also, Bilal bin Rabah was calling Azan from the rooftop of the Kaaba. The Quraysh were expecting revenge from the Muslims, a payback for their decades of offenses. However, the Prophet declared that all of them were free. The pagans of Mecca were astonished to hear those words. They had never encountered such generosity in their history. Only six people were to be executed for their crimes and Ikrimah was one of them. Due to that, the pagans realized the greatness of Islam and accepted the new religion. However, Ikrimah was not one of them. He fled from Mecca to save his life. He believed that nobody could save him. When thousands of Meccans embraced Islam within a few days, a group of women came to Prophet and said, We have come to embrace Islam. One of them was Hindun binti Utbah, who hired a slave to kill the uncle of the Prophet, Hamza bin Abdul Muttalib, and chewed his liver after his murder. Still, the Prophet welcomed her to Islam and prayed for her forgiveness. The next woman was Ummu Hakim, wife of Ikrimah. She wanted to embrace Islam and she was welcomed by the Prophet. As a wife, she asked the Prophet to pardon Ikrimah and grant him amnesty. To her surprise, the Prophet said, He is granted security. Ummu Hakim was overwhelmed and went to search for Ikrimah. Once informed, Ikrimah was very shocked but still returned to Mecca with his wife. When Ikrimah came, the Prophet told his people, Ikrimah Ibn Abu Jahal is coming. Don't curse his father because the cursing of a dead will only cause hurt to the living and does not reach the dead. When Ikrimah arrived, the Prophet welcomed him and guided him to recite the Shahada and become a Muslim. Ikrimah requested the Prophet to pray for the forgiveness of his past deeds. Ikrimah said, O Rasulullah, whatever money I've spent in preventing people from coming to the way of Allah, I'll spend double the amount to invite people to the bright path. And whatever battle I fought against Islam, I'll fight twice the number for its sake of Islam. Ikrimah participated in all the battles after his conversion to Islam. During the Battle of Yarmouk in Syria, Qari Aywali advised him not to go too deep into the enemy defenses as his death will be a great loss to a Muslim. Ikrimah replied, O Khalid, you have preceded me in Islam. Let me atone for my sins. I fought much against Prophet in the past. Should I now be afraid of the Romans? No, I would never. He called on the Muslims to launch a fierce attack and finally Allah gave victory to the Muslims. When the battle was over, the bodies of three wounded Mujahideen lay on the battleground. Among them, Al-Harif ibn Hisham, Ayyash ibn Abi Rabiyah, and Ikrimah ibn Abi Jahal. They cried for water. However, all three of them passed away before drinking the water. The companions prayed that Allah bless them and grant them with refreshment from the spring of Kafir in Jannah. Refreshment after which there is thirst no more. The lesson that we can get from this story is first, we must not curse the dead or insult them. We should never judge them as their accountability is all upon Allah. Second, we should seek repentance for all sin as Allah is the most forgiving and the most merciful. Tawbah is the beginning of life of a person who intends to walk in the path of religions. Allah loves those who repent. That's all for the story of Ikrimah ibn Abu Jahal. Thank you for listening. Wabillahi taufiq wa hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.